Thank you, Mr. Farage. Two minutes and a half, two and a half minutes, please. Thank you. Well, Mr. Barroso, I'm always prepared to accept I might be wrong, and I thought the democratic revolution against this Euro lunacy was confined to Northern Europe. But now we see that Slovakia have joined it. And I must say, what a wonderful result that was last night in Slovakia. I'm sure many of you here will agree. Um, and it's produced, I think, the quote of the crisis. Richard Sulik, who led the rebels, said, I'd rather be a pariah in Brussels than have to feel ashamed before my children who would be deeper in debt. Well, I know how he feels, because I've been somewhat of a pariah here, perhaps for the last 10 years. Uh, but he's got it right, because he summed up the detachment between Brussels and the real people of the European Union. And listening to this today, it's almost as if um, this debate's been going on inside a padded cell that is the European Parliament, as people compete for who can be the most stupid. Who can be the most stupid? Who can waste the maximum amount of taxpayers' money? I really do think, as a political class, you're all wrong. And you're all wrong democratically, because nobody has ever given consent for this behaviour. And when people do vote no, well, when the French vote no, you ignore them. When the Dutch vote no, you ignore them. When the Irish vote no, you say vote again and get it right. And when Slovakia vote no, well, we're told today it'll all be OK, because they can vote again this week until they get the right answer. We've got 17 countries trapped inside this economic prison of the Eurozone. And all you can do, Mr Barroso, is stand up and say we need more power. People like you, who've been the architect of this failure, the architect of the misery that is being inflicted upon millions, want more power. It's like Barroso in the bunker, unaware of what is happening in the outside world, but planning world domination. <laughs> and in economic terms, it's getting madder and madder. I hear the new idea is that the bailout fund will be multiplied, geared up times five, by the European Central Bank so that you've got your two trillion, Mr Verhofstadt. Two trillion. Good God, Greece is going bankrupt. If you lot continue, the whole banking system in Europe is going to go bankrupt. The former British Chancellor of the Exchequer, Norman Lamont, this morning described the attempts to save the euro as the most gigantic Ponzi scheme, I'm tempted to think he's right. Thank you.